Hello and welcome to your reading, Scorpio. This is for all Scorpio placements. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at your month ahead, March 2023. Um, I recommend watching the Zodiac readings for your Sun, Moon, Rising and taking a look at the March Picket Card too to get a holistic view of your month ahead. Uh, so Scorpio, I apologize if you hear air conditioning in the background. I'm still sweating with it on. It is hot where I live. How is it by you? <laughs> so hopefully I can edit that out, but only way I can get through these readings. But anyways, let's get to it. So let's take a moment to call in your guides, to call in my guides, angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest vibrational frequency. Please be with us today to provide the most accurate, meaningful messages for Scorpio at this time. Thank you for your clear and accurate messages. And thank you, Scorpio, for being here. Let's get started. Spirit, what is going on in Scorp for Scorp Scorpio? What is going on for Scorpio in March? What is the main message you have for Scorpio? What is relevant past? And what is a potential future for this situation? And what is some more background information on what's going on in March for Scorpio? I feel like the game is a little crooked. <laughs> and what is the opportunity coming for Scorpio this month? At the bottom of the deck, we have the devil reversed. I feel like you're overcoming something, Scorpio. You're overcoming some limiting beliefs, some maybe addictions, something that wasn't serving you, you're conquering that, whatever this devil energy could be for you, something that was holding you back, um, limiting you. It could be any sort of addiction, anything that, any codependent relationship potentially. This month it looks like you're overcoming that. Let's see though, what's going on? So you may have been feeling like luck just hasn't been on your side lately, like things just haven't, been working out for you um, and I feel like spirits telling you here like if that's the case maybe take a look at what could be limiting you what could this devil energy be is there something in your life that's that's kind of like has you like like chains attached to it like like, a, like I was saying like a codependent relationship um, maybe some toxic friendships some like behaviors, thought patterns that just aren't serving your best interest because they may be blocking you from from good things coming for your fortune changing. And it does seem like there could be something in the past um, with the three of cups here with relevant information. Maybe there has been overindulgence with going out a lot, drinking a lot. Um, and at the same time, this could also be friendships, um, social circles that maybe have been a little toxic for you or all just like lead you to being overindulgent. It seems like you're overcoming whatever this is, but there is some like thing here in the future to watch out that um, all your efforts to improve things, you, there might be some temptation to break these more positive patterns you're reinforcing here. But I feel like you're, you're going to be a lot more stable. We have the King of Pentacles for more information here. Perhaps like these changes that you can make to improve your life and um, get rid of this devil energy and stuff will help you um, make better financial decisions and save some money. Like maybe you'll be going out less and you'll be able to um, save some money there or not spend money on su a substance or something that you used to maybe have an attachment to. You can be really focused more on work and stability overall, the fruits of your labor. You know, you just want a more abundant lifestyle. And I feel like you really have the opportunity here to do this. You have the opportunity at this hangman here to take a step back and get a new perspective, take a time out from whatever's been going on, really um, do some inner work, evaluate things, and just take some time to yourself. And you're really going to evolve and grow and just see things from a, a better, a bigger, higher perspective. And that'll really change things around for you. We have three slash four out of six major arcanas, you guys. This is a big deal. There's something big that's shifting in your life. I know astrologically speaking, there are major shifts happening. In March, we have, um, I talked about it in the pick a card. Briefly, I went over the main transits. Um, that'll be linked down below if you haven't seen that. 
but we have Saturn switching signs. It's going into Pisces. And then we also have Pluto at the end of the month switching signs, which is only every 20 years. It's a big deal. We won't really see effects of Pluto later. That's like more generational. It's like something when we look back in time, we'll see what's shifting. Um, but like Saturn, it's like you're wrapping up an old cycle. You've like learned hard lessons. Um, you've matured in a certain area of your life. And that is the shift we're seeing. You've learned lessons. You've overcome this devil energy or you're in the process of whatever that is for you. Again, this is a general reading, so it'll be different, but something that's just chaining you and holding you back. Um, perhaps Saturn's fallen somewhere. or um, at, You can look where Aquarius is in your chart, but maybe it's something to do with social situations, for, like one of the social houses, like the 3rd, 7th, or 11th, um, 5th house too. Um, or perhaps, you know, the 3rd house here. Maybe they're could be family too um but you're learning your lessons that's the point you're wrapping things up you're, you're and you're reflecting this month you have the opportunity to reflect and really examine how things have gone how you've grown and don't be hard on yourself like look at how much you've grown you've definitely become more stable in some area of your life in the past three years so don't be too hard on yourself and don't be too hard on yourself if you slip and going back into some energy you can overcome anything here you are strong and, you know, if you fall back, you can pick yourself up again. That's totally fine. But this is a big deal, you know, this, this shift. And you're going into a new area. So if you feel like things just haven't been on your side, things, the wheel is turning, you know. Things are changing. Things are shifting. And you have the opportunity to really see things in a different perspective and, and turn or look around and, and make things more abundant. I feel like you really are coming into a more stable, um, abundant period of your life. There could be... Um, an earth sign that is really prevalent in your life in March, the earth signs being Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this could just be someone in your life that is very stable and abundant and really helps guide you and like mentor you in a way. I mean, <laughs> but since this is upright, I feel like this is definitely a positive influence. And I also feel like a lot of you, you're embodying this King of Pentacles. Emmy, don't, or my cat's chewing on like something random. <laughs> what are you doing, girl? But yeah. This is really good. So we don't have any, since we have more, all these major arcanas, we have a lack of certain things. We don't have any swords and we don't have any wands. So there might be something here lacking, like maybe you feel a lack of passion or direction. Maybe you're unable to make um, decisions or you don't really, can't really see clearly about what, what's going on or the path ahead. I feel like overcoming the, uh, like this devil energy and really taking some time out to work on yourself will help you see more clearly and inspire some new passion. Because I feel like whatever's been going on, just hit, you've been feeling a little down, a low, lack of passion. Um, and I feel like really there's a, an opportunity here to take a step back. You might get more into spirituality over the next month, um, maybe like occult practices. Uh, I feel like you're really have the opportunity to work on your health overall. Maybe you're going to start working out more. That could be something that's good for you and helps like clear your mind. But I think it'd be really good, yeah, to have some new passion, new hobby, especially if you're if you're um, taking a step back from partying or a codependent relationship or drinking or substance use or anything like that. It'd be really good for you to pick up a hobby, to pick up some new passion, to start doing new things. And definitely, um, like, learning something new. I feel like I'm really, like, this enlightened, like, a little brightness around his head. I feel like you're, like, just learning something that you're really, like, you love, like, like diving deep into something new, learning something new will be really good for you. And um, not only distractions, like, you want to do it. Um, and maybe you'll be getting into something that um, helps, like, bring forth more money. Like, maybe you'll get into, like, thinking about, like, Bitcoin or investments or like something financial or you're just um, maybe like focusing on your home, maybe like decorating. I don't know. It could be anything, really anything. What in working out perhaps would be really good for you guys. I feel like movements come up in a lot of readings. Let's get some more cards. What's going on in March for our Scorpio friends? Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. I love that. Oh my God. And the next one's so interesting. Great passion. If you want more passion in your life, if you want to reach your goals, this is spirit saying it's time to put in more effort. 
you know, work on yourself more, spend more time doing what it is you um, want, you know, are into. Maybe it is you want to um, make more money. Maybe it would be good to like look into investments or like read books about it, you know. I clearly don't, I'm not well versed in finance, so um, maybe that's something I should do too. Um, and if you want to be healthier, can you work out more? Can you um, incorporate more movement into your life? If it may be, um, drink less and like sleep better, you know, and there's something, I feel like you're really going to find something that brings you great passion. And, you know, he said there's like a lack of passion really here, I mean, a lack of drive, but I feel like if you put in the effort to find what makes you pa feel passionate, um, I feel like that you're definitely going to find that you're going to find something that really inspires you, brings passion into your life. But you gotta step out of your comfort zone. You gotta do th like you know, take the efforts needed. Like, what is your goal? Are you trying to overcome something? What can you do about it? What can you? What energy can you put into solving your problem, reaching your goals? Let's get one more of these cards, Spirit. Mule. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Oh, I Spirit calling you out a little bit. You are a fixed sign. Um, you might not want to change your ways. You might not want to put in the effort. But, like, honestly, like, if you do things the same way, nothing's going to change, you know? So if you do want things to change, you have to put in the effort. Spirits, I feel like Spirit's kind of calling you out. But this could also be for some of you with past relationships that don't seem to be going well. You can't change anyone else, you know? You might be evolving as a, pure, a person, a human, you know? But maybe the people around you aren't, and... There's nothing you can do about it. They'll come around their own time if they will at all, you know. Focus on yourself and your own improvements, your own well-being, and just wish them the best. You can't, you know, you can't force anyone to change. Let's get some more cards for Scorpio. Detachment. Venus and Aquarius. Yes, there's something spirit really is calling your attention to detach from. It could be people too. Venus rules like relationships, you know, and Aquarius can rule friendships. And we have a three of cups here. And the 11th house is about friendships and stuff too. There's something here you need in with this devil energy. What, what, what's potentially causing things to not go right in your life? What can you detach yourself from that is not serving your highest good. It really could be maybe toxic environments, toxic friendships for some of you. It could be toxic behaviors, toxic addictions, toxic thoughts. Maybe you're thinking poorly about yourself and spirits. Like maybe take some time to read some books about how you can change your mindset, think more positively, um, fix any self-limiting beliefs, really look within and see where there could be some. And maybe you have been really wanting to change someone, some situation, but you can't do that spirit. It's like you have to detach yourself from that situation. You can't control our people. But you can make changes and control yourself. You know? We have here Mars and Aries. Impulsiveness. Yeah, perhaps there has been a history of impulsive behavior. It's magnet. Or horseshoe. Yeah, I don't is that a horseshoe? I don't, it looks like a magnet at first. I think it's a horseshoe. Maybe there's some energy here of slowing down a little this month. Maybe quick being quick to anger has happened. And it might be due to some toxic things going on or just things not feeling like you're not working out. It's a good idea to take a step back, get grounded with this King of Pentacles. Can you incorporate more of a grounding practice? Do some breath work, maybe yoga. Um, go outside to, in nature. Do whatever it is you can like to really help ground you. Oops, my wash things. I'm talking to it. Grounding will be really good for you. For some reason, breath work really things. Like if you do feel like you're getting heated or worked up, taking some breaths. Like you can do like four seconds in, hold for four, let out for four, or you can look up other methods too. Ostentation. You guys, I don't even... Hey Siri, please define ostentation. Ostentation means pretentious and vulgar display, especially...
especially of wealth and luxury, intended to impress or attract notice. Mm. Pretentious and vulgar display, especially of wealth and luxury, intended to impress or attract notice. Okay. There might be people in your life that embody this energy, or maybe you are, maybe there's, maybe this devil energy could be like, just worrying too much about what other people think, showing off, like maybe focusing too much on wealth, like an attachment to the material realm. With this King of Pentacles, that could possibly have to do with it too. And Spirit's trying to shift your attention to um, detaching yourself from material items and really like looking within and thinking what pa like fuels you, what, what makes you feel alive and well, like, and outside of the material realm. There was, might have been too much of an attention on the material realm. And this could be you or the people around you that spirit wants you to detach from that way of thinking or from people in your environment like that. And really taking like time away from that, the material side of things, like and focusing on your goals this month, your passions and your goals, and not the superficial things that may be around you or may have been coming up in recent times for you. Let's roll the Astrodice final messages for Scorpio spirit. We have here Mercury, Aries, and the eighth house. Yeah, I feel like this might be um, other people acting this way around you, the superficial thing, like, because 8th house rules other people's money. Actually, Scorpio is the original, like, ruler of the 8th house. Um, but, like, it can also have to do with like, debts, other people's money. Perhaps um, there's energy here of trying to increase your your income and, and get rid of some debts. So not worrying about material things and just really focusing on your goal of achieving more money and paying off your debts and not spending money, not worrying, detaching from caring about what other people think in regards to like your, like, you know, what your friends think about your, like what you have materially, um, not worrying about like having a designer brand, just really focusing your attention on paying things off and not spending money. That could be for some of you. Um, but with Mercury and Aries here, there's, there could be perhaps, I, can't, like this, I was thinking of the third house too, like could be some siblings issues and stuff like that, maybe detaching from that, your community, your neighbors, extended family. Perhaps there are some people um, that need to be detached from or like who you hang out with on a regular basis, there just might be some detachment there. And with Aries, I feel like this is all about taking that initiative to really, um, Take, putting forth the effort. Aries is ambitious they, and they, they're passionate. They go after what they want. So how can you do that? And also I feel like communicating what you want would be really helpful like with your spirit guides, with people around you. Getting clear to yourself. What is it that you want? We have an eight here. Um, you can just get it, communicating what you want, going after what you want, and like setting clear boundaries, speaking to the people around you and letting them know, like, I'm taking some time off from drinking. I'm taking some time off from partying this month because I'm focusing on my goals. You know, for example, that's not going to be true for everyone. Um, but really communicating your desires and going after it. Sometimes with Mercury and Aries, there can be really blunt, harsh communication. So just something to look out for. Um, with your relationships or people might be acting that way towards you. Mercury is actually going into Aries at the end of March. So this could possibly be signifying when something big happens for you it's like the very end because right now today it went to Pisces so like it's going to be there for like three weeks but at the end of the month Mercury does enter Aries and that could be um significant for you I believe it's like the 30th or 20th or something like that I can actually look for your um that's so good so it seems significant when Mercury goes in. oh the 19th actually the 19th of March it's flying through. Um, so the middle of the month around the 19th, something significant could come about. Maybe there could be something that comes up with um, paying a debt or other people's money. This could also have to do with sex and magic too. So that could be for some people. Um, just FYI. But I feel like, yeah, there's something happening around this time. Uh, maybe between the 8th and the 18th of the month. But, or the 19th of the month. But really being direct in communication for your desires, your needs, and taking action to reach your goals and not letting other people stand in the way and not letting your own thoughts and limiting behaviors 
um, interrupt that as well. And really taking a step back to do some introspection uh, will be really good for you. And spending time focusing on your passions rather than thinking about the things you don't have, etc. So that is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this resonated. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment. And like I said um, in the beginning, it could be really helpful to fill in any gaps or get more information on what else is going on this month to watch your sun, moon, rising. Some people like to watch their Venus sign as well. And also the March pick a card. And that also talks about the astrology too if you wanted to. Uh, catch that and you haven't seen it yet. And I do offer private readings. My email is down below if you are interested. I'm just so grateful you're here. I hope you have a great day, a beautiful, amazing month. I love you so much, Scorpio. Bye.